Welcome back to the channel guys. Uh, it's been a few uh, weeks since I've uploaded a video. Uh, in the last one I was recovering from Covid which is why my I sound awful. Um, but I sound a bit better for this one. Um, I've got here uh, the iPad Pro 11 uh, 2020 model and the new MacBook M1 Air. But before I proceed on to this I uh, just want to say if you could subscribe to the channel it will really help. Uh, really help it grow. Uh, I can create more content, like and comment on the videos, and yeah, let's get underway. So, got the M1 MacBook Air here, no real design changes, I mean, it's pretty much the same thing, uh, so compact to hold, um, you've got the headphone jack there, couple Thunderbolt ports there, USB, um, you've only got one USB port here, um, I don't believe it is Thunderbolt on here, contrary, despite what people are saying online. Um, so that's a shame um, and obviously the headphone jack got removed and it is very light even with a case on Debate I've seen is people are saying which one they should get over the other um, Whether the iPad Pro is a laptop replacement and I did do a video on that um, I mean the honest truth is The iPad at least the iPad Pros they can replace a laptop to a certain extent Okay, there's no way this is going to do everything that this thing over here can do okay you've got the full keyboard on it you've got the processing power if you need apps you know like any of the adobe related apps saying that i've heard the ones for ipad are quite good um almost as good as des desktop version um if you're looking to do spreadsheets word processing yes you can get away with the ipad on here um but it depends if you want that screen real estate as well i mean you've got 13 inches here and you've got 11 inches here um, as well uh, obviously this is way more portable so if you want to do your stuff on the go uh, any productivity I love that word it's everywhere um, this is the device to sort of go for uh, which is why I ended up getting both I just couldn't do one over the other um, I did for a while have this um, and tried to use it as my main laptop with a mouse and keyboard um, and it was really great but I soon discovered the limitation when I had to quickly download attachments, uh, drag and drop into another location. Now you can do all of that stuff on here, it's just not very efficient on there. Um, I mean the OS is lovely, um, it's very um, unique, it's not something you're going to get on a laptop um, and it's so fluid to use. Oh I've got BBC Sport again, um, it's such a blast and look how quick it is look how quick it scrolls I mean I don't know if it's lagging on the camera but in real life that is smooth buttery smooth 120 Hertz I don't notice the Hertz difference on that I mean this is supposed to be 60 it does not look any less um, yeah I, it's visibly noticeable here obviously there's more nits on this one so if you're looking for any media consumption your movies are gonna look better on here but I find them much more entertaining on this one particularly if I'm sitting down at a table um, again, portability is a huge factor if you want to carry this thing around and it doesn't get hot. Okay, I know it's strange for me to say that, but once upon a time, tablets did get hot um, when you ran games or stream stuff. Um, so that's really good to, good to sort of see from that. And obviously the M1 now um, doesn't get hot. If you're looking to run any of the older applications, possibly using Rosetta, uh, you are going to find um, that your battery drains a lot quicker. Now I managed to average around 9 to 10 hours with, with a mixture of Rosetta and Apple optimized apps. Um, and when I say Apple optimized, literally just Safari. Um, I'm using things like Chrome, uh, I'm not sure how the Microsoft Office package, I don't think that's been updated for M1 just yet. Um, whereas for this one, when I do the same stuff, I'm getting slightly less, um, depending on the brightness I'm on. Um, but it's still uh, still around seven to eight hours, which is really good. Um, after a while, though, when you're using this, holding it, ooh, um, it does it does seem to um, it does seem to hurt your hands after a while, um, and you can get a bit of cramp as well. I'm just trying to think why this page. Up? It's a bit of an older one. That's up. Um, it does cause a bit of cramp in there, um, so you really have to be careful uh to be honest um i mean which one i can recommend uh, i'm not too sure i mean let me just i mean there's only one one thing i need to play really or just one sound so let me just turn this on 
um, and it, just listen to that. Don't know how much you can hear that, but that just sounds amazing. Um, and then you've got the trackpad. Just the experience of it. I mean, it's the best laptop I've ever used. Um, I was tempted to boot it up in Windows as well. It's turning around like that, it's annoying me. I was tempted to run it in Windows and apparently it does give about 10 hours and the benchmark smash pretty much any other Windows laptop. If you have used this for Windows, can you let us know in the comments below? Um, that would be quite interesting. Um, I do think Apple should advertise it as a feature. If they could get people getting these laptops and safely putting Windows on, I'm sure they'd sell more easily. And I would have got a MacBook ages ago if I knew it was the case. Um, just some driver support apparently. I think a couple of people online have had their sort of Thunderbolt ports go a bit dodgy. Um, yeah, I don't want to be dealing with that to be honest. Um, right, nothing else to add on that. This was sort of a uh, quick opinion. I didn't want to show any benchmarks. I just wanted to sort of talk so you had to hear my voice for a few minutes. Um, let us know what you think in the comments below. Um, obviously subscribe to the channel if you haven't. I seem to be getting a few extra reviews but not many people subscribing. I understand how it is. I mean, I watch tech reviews and I don't subscribe to any, you know, all of them. Uh, there are a few, but if you could, it'd really help the channel grow. Uh, put some comments down, share the video, like, click the bell icon for notifications, and I'll see if I can turn out more stuff. But yeah, let us know what you think and stay safe. That just sounds so good.